Hello and welcome Aries. I am Pisces Intuition here with your weekly reading. Alright, so let's get started. Alright, keep in mind this is a general reading, so not everything is going to resonate with your situation, and that's okay. Take what does and leave the rest behind. I do encourage you, if this in, uh, doesn't resonate, to check out your sun, moon, or rising sign. Sometimes those can offer more clarity. Alright, two more cards for Aries. All right. So bottom of the deck, we do have that eight of coins coming up. So the eight of coins is definitely talking about putting focus into something. This could be with work. This could be in a relationship. We are getting ready to find out. But definitely putting your focus into something, putting some work into something, um, putting some effort into something. Really, this could be, you know, even like learning something if you're, you know, back to school. Um, you know, maybe, maybe even like a parent, of, you know, like homeschooling your child, you know, whatever the case is. Um, but the center of your reading is the Ace of Cups. So it does look like a lot of you are kind of putting a focus in on, you know, this Ace of Cups. Um, possibly, again, like I said, a family situation. Um, but with the Ace of Cups, this is talking about unconditional love. And like I said, this is taking center of your reading here. So Aries, um, starting there, then going, walking back a little bit, we have the Five of Cups, which is talking about, you know, regret. It's talking about sadness. It's talking about loss. Um, see how some of the cups down here are kind of, you know, shattered, they're broken, you know, spilled out. Um, but the two cups behind her remain intact and they remain full as well. But she's not acknowledging that she's, you know, sad because of the things that are broken, because of the things she feels like she's lost, that she can't be, you know, that she can't replace. But with the Queen of Swords, this is also setting up some kind of healthy boundaries. This is also seeing things clearly. Um, this is also clear-cut communication as well. Now, I do feel like this person is very protective of their selves, of their heart space. So Aries, this could be you. This could be your person. Again, take it how it resonates. But I do feel like somebody here is very protective of their heart space. Um, huh. Yeah, and then with the Five of Wands, I just feel like it's been a really big struggle. I think it's been a struggle with communication. I think it's been a struggle with this person um, and like commitment issues or like putting work, putting effort into a family. For those of you who are in this relationship, who have been in like a long-term relationship with this person, I feel like there's been, like I said, kind of a struggle for this person to really put time and effort into the family situation. Maybe they've been focusing more on work. Maybe they're focusing more on, um, like I said, their studies or, you know, putting... They're putting their focus elsewhere is what I keep getting for some of you. Like I said, for others of you, I'm getting just that this person seems kind of cold, um, yeah, kind of cold, kind of closed off, and especially emotionally, it feels like they're more logical than they are, you know, willing to put their feelings out. They're willing to openly express and communicate, you know, how they're feeling and how they're just about their emotions is what I keep getting. Huh. I do feel like for some of you, you feel like you're actually competing against like a third type of energy. Again, this could be this person's work. Um, for some of you, this is a person who has kids with another person and you're, you still kind of feel like you're competing with that situation because it's like, you know, I understand you have kids, you want to be with your kids, but at the same time, we also have a relationship and you know, you just, I think you're asking to be included because it almost feels like they're keeping like two lives separate for some of you. Yeah, it almost feels like they're keeping like family here or their kids here and then their relationship, you over here and not merging the two. And I think that's where you're kind of suffering here, Aries. Or Aries, like I said, this could be you and maybe you're doing that to your person. Um, I'm seeing a lot of scenarios like going on here. So again, take it how it's resonating with you. But I am seeing, like I said, a need out of all of these scenarios. The main thing this connection needs is definitely some clear cut communication and some boundaries because it almost feels like a, somebody here is like really almost feels betrayed or just really, really hurt by this situation. Um, I do feel like for some of you, you are in separation currently. While others of you, it's almost like you're just kind of suffering in silence, kind of keeping it to yourself because I don't feel like you've openly expressed this to your person. Or if you have, it's just kind of shot down. And they're like, you know, 
kind of like, oh, you're making a big deal out of nothing type of situation. Or that's not how it is. Because I don't feel like they see it from your point of view. I feel like they are only looking at it from their point of view and not really, you know, seeing, like, there's two sides. Yeah, but with the Ace of Cups, there's a lot of love here. And look at that that comes out, the Six of Cups. So, yeah, so like I said, this situation can very well involve a family, can involve, you know, children. I think this person is very protective over their children. Um, there is some stagnancy, like I said, between you and between this person really getting the connection going, like I've um, been saying. With the Four of Cups, again, it almost feels like, you know, they're keeping you outside or they're keeping you at a distance. That's just kind of what I keep getting. I just keep getting, like, there's like a delay of like progression here within this relationship. Like they're just kind of keeping you at arm's length. All right. So five of cups, we have that ace of pentacles. So beautiful. We have two aces and we have the 10 of cups here. Um, we also have a strength card and then there we go. We have the king of swords and then the queen of swords. So again, two very logical people, but it does feel like somebody is expressing their emotions, but it just feels like, you know, they're having to kind of keep guarded because it's almost like they're not getting what they need. Um, it doesn't feel like the love is quite unrequited. It just feels like they're being kept at arm's length. There's like, they're purposely keeping a distance between you and them. With the strength card, I do feel like a lot of patience is needed here. See how she's kind of like holding the lion back? Again, it represents like, I feel like somebody is kind of like really kind of holding themselves back, kind of biting their tongue. Um, with the king of swords, again, truth, honesty, you know, communication, clear cut communication is really needed in this situation in order to get that ace of pentacles. Because it just feels like the situation can be repaired. Oops, we had one. We have the King of Wands here. Yeah, it feels like this situation can be repaired. Um, it's just, when is this person going to see it? When is this person going to take action? All right, so we have the King of Wands. We have the Six of Pentacles. And then we have the Six of Swords clarifying the Ace of Cups. So I do see the situation moving forward. I do see more of a balance being brought in. And I do see some action being taken. Um, I feel like it's going to take a while, though. I do feel like I said there's a lot for this person to kind of see. Um, for those of you who are kind of in separation from this person, I feel like that's what it kind of took almost to a point of them seeing that, you know, they can, in fact, lose you. That this is, you know, a big deal to you. And there needs to be more of a balance of the connection because I am getting, like I said, that this connection is kind of one-sided. All right. So clarifying the Five of Wands, we have the Five of Cups. We have the Ace of Cups again. And then we have the Hierophant. So we also have, you know, three Fives here. So Fives are definitely, you know, all about... Um, changes, but they're also about obstacles. So keep that in mind. Um, with three fives, that is talking about, you know, change is definitely coming in. I do feel like it's going to be intense, but I feel like it's for your highest good. Yeah, I feel like for a lot of you, change can be kind of scary. So maybe that's what's why there's so much like kind of like, you know, the, that icky, that kind of thick, like feeling here. Um, but it's like, just go with the flow. The, you know, this change, like I said, is ultimately for the higher good for yourself and for this relationship. Like I said, you have the ace of cups coming out twice here. So there's a lot of love, a lot of feelings, a lot of emotions, you know, unconditional love at that. And there is a commitment here. So even though we have the five of cups, we have that, you know, that regret. Yeah, because we have that coming out twice here. We have the five, but see, it can be fixed. I do see it being fixed and I see it being taken to the next level of commitment. I do see, like I said, improvement, but it's going to take a lot of open, honest communication. 
Um, clarifying the Ten of Cups, we have the Knight of Wands, we have the Two of Cups, and we have the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. So the Queen of Pentacles, you know, she is very nurturing, very loving. I do see this going towards more of a stable, you know, secure connection because right now I feel like there's some trust issues. There's some issues with, like I said, not being heard, just kind of being ignored within this connection. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just getting, like I said, it's going to, towards, like I said, more security, more stability. Um, because I just keep getting, like I said, somebody feels like they're not being heard, they're not being listened to, they're not being acknowledged in this connection almost. Like I said, it just really kind of feels like this person is kind of keeping you at arm's length. Um, and I'm not sure why. I don't know if that's fear of commitment, fear of being hurt. I do feel like somebody is very protective over their heart space. So, you know, maybe that could be your person and that's, you know, I mean, that's definitely not, you know, I mean, it's a reason for some people, I guess, but still, you know, I, I don't know. Huh. Yeah, it just kind of feels like ego, fear, ego. Hmm. But yeah, but like I said, I do see, like I said, you know, action being taken. I do see repairs. I do th see, keep seeing like a um, work in progress here. And with the two of cups, like I said, that is, you know, recognizing that there is something within this connection. So, you know, let's fix this. Let's get this going. Um, we have, it is safe for you to love and playfulness. So again, I feel like this connection really got kind of serious pretty fast. Um, to the point of when you start feeling like you're not being heard, you're not being listened to, you know, same thing. Um, you know, when you're just kind of being like shut out or something, you know, it kind of loses a playfulness. It loses a funness. It kind of just loses, you know, just like the point of like, why am I even here then? But like I said, I do feel like it can be repaired. It can be fixed, but this person's focus, it's definitely going to be required within this relationship. And I do see them, like I said, putting forth, you know, work, putting more, you know, focus into this relationship, trying to fix things, trying to merge things for those of you who have, like I said, um, your person or you, you know, whoever this is, you know, does have children outside of the relationship. I do feel them trying to merge, you know, this together, trying to make this work instead of keeping things separate. Because like I said, it almost feels like somebody here is almost kind of like living like a double life or something. Um, but with playfulness, like I said, I do feel like this is a very lighthearted, fun connection. And that's how it started off. And that's how it's going to come back. You know, we're going to have to get that flirting back, that chemistry back, you know, that funness, that laid back. And being able to, like I said, really communicate from a loving, healthy place. Um, it is safe for you to love. So, you know, again, you don't need to close yourself off and neither does your person because that's what's going to end the relationship. But if we open up with that clear cut communication, you know, that's what's going to bring this love back. That's what's, you know, because there's unconditional love here. So that's what's just going to make this open up and make it easier. Just working things out and figuring out that middle road. All right, let's go ahead. We have soulmate. So your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. All right. So now let's go ahead and let's get uh, a message from your person. All right. So what does Aries person want them to know? What message do they have for Aries? So I envy the people in your life who get to be close to you. So see, that's what I mean. It kind of feels like this person, or like I said, if this is you, whoever this is, I just feel like somebody here is kind of living like a double life almost. Like they're keeping the relationship at arm's length while, you know, like I said, it's they're not like merging the two. I don't think they know how. They're just being very guarded. And so the other person is really kind of left, you know, again, kind of envious of, you know, those people who they do let in, who they do share those things with, who they do openly, you know, communicate with and things like that. Um, bottom of the deck is I will make things right between us one day. I promise. So like I said, I do feel like the situation can be repaired. It can definitely be fixed here. All right. So we're going to scoot these over and we're going to draw some, um, or not draw, but we're going to take some charms. Okay. All right, so we have a couple, we have three of the similar ones, same ones. Um, 
So we do have the little trees here. One is inside of a heart, one is inside of a circle, and then the other tree is just by itself. Again, it kind of, you know, tells me that this person is kind of living like a double life, you know, kind of keeping, like I said, things kind of separated here. Um, but the tree is all about, you know, putting your roots down. It's all about, you know, being grounded, being stabilized. It's all about security, you know, when you think of that tree. And so again, I do feel like this is where the this connection is going, but it's definitely going to take some time and it's going to take some work on both parts. Um, let's see, we have, <laughs> we also have two of the music notes. Oh no. Okay. I thought I dropped it. Um, two of the music notes coming out. So again, you know, both of you could be very musical, um, or maybe that's how you kind of communicate with each other, you know, is through like music, sending lyrics back and forth or, you know, whatever the case is. Um, it just kind of feels like that's what's going on. Now, with this particular little love sign, again, there's some love in this connection. It really does feel like, you know, that's not lacking here at all. There's a lot of love here. We also have a little heart that says made with love. So this connection, like I said, it just feels like, you know, there's no problem with the love. There's no problem with the feelings. It's just openly expressing and communicating them. That's where the problem lies. All right, so then we have the little happy face. So again, this is kind of just talking about, you know, the happiness that's between the two of you, you know, being able to put a smile on each other's faces, things like that. Um, we also have the little elephant, which is talking about strength. It's talking about memory. It's talking about, um, you know, loyalty. With the little heart wearing that little nurse's hat, this is really kind of telling me that either somebody is in the medical field or, again, somebody's heart is really just kind of on the mend here. And honestly, I'm seeing that, you know, this could be both of you. Um, with the little bouquet here, again, I keep getting family, so I don't know if this is, you know, maybe something that you've talked about, talking about marriage, because I do see that could possibly be in the future for some of you. So again, that does kind of signify that for me. Um, with the little sun here, of course, you know, this is talking about abundance. This is talking about happiness. Um, it's talking about luck. We also have a heart here with a lot kind of going on, you know, inside. And so again, this is just kind of telling me there's a lot going on within this person's heart. Like I said, love is definitely not the problem here. So with the little owl, you know, this is telling me, um, you know, this person is very aware of their surroundings. There's, you know, this person is very intelligent. Um, it just kind of feels like, you know, again, because see on this particular owl, I just noticed that, um, yeah, this particular little owl, and I left it like this for symbolization, um, the little eyes are missing. And so again, they're not seeing something like they're, they should be, instead of focusing on seeing something, they should be focusing on listening. And again, that's kind of like the main theme of your reading here is the need to listen. All right. And then we have a little leaf here. Whoops. So leaves are all about, you know, regeneration, rebirth. You know, you think about a leaf and you think of the changing of the seasons, you know, trees shedding their leaves. So, you know, when you think of people, that's releasing negativity. That's releasing things that are just not there for you anymore. And going towards, like I said, a brand new beginning here with the bicycle. Again, I am seeing, like I said, going towards a new, um, you know, moving forward. <laughs> I can't think of what I'm trying to say here, but I do see, like I said, I'm seeing some movement. I just feel like it's going to take some time. You know, bicycle isn't as fast as, you know, a horse or a car or an airplane or anything like that. So, you know, bicycle, it's, it's movement, but it's going to take some time. Now with this particular little symbol, um, this is definitely, again, talking about love for me. This is talking about, um, Okay, but um, but like I said, you know, this is just talking about, like I said, love for me. Um, you know, this is a sign of Venus. Hmm. So, yeah, like I said, it just doesn't feel to me like love is a problem here at all. It just kind of feels like everything else kind of going on and it's figuring out how to merge. But definitely opening up communication is the starting point. So... All right, well, that is what I have for you, Leah, or not Leah, I'm sorry, for Aries. Thank you so very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Thank you to everybody new and old who's been with me. Um, if you guys are over on Facebook, be sure to drop by and look me up. I have a page now on there. So drop a like, drop a follow. I do post readings as well as specials for tarot prices. Um, also on Instagram as well if you are interested in that. 
I have a pretty big special coming up tomorrow, well, yeah, Tuesday, and uh, possibly Wednesday as well. So again, keep an eye open for that and for future events as well. So again, thank you all so very much, and take care.